guys, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety, and I'm back with a new video. So as we all can see, my hair is back in a ponytail. No, I don't want you guys to be like, oh my god, your head is so big, because I can see them. I have a huge head. Like, I can see it. I can see I have a huge head. I don't need you guys to tell me that. Okay, okay. Anyways, yeah, I know I usually do videos with my hair down, but it's back today, so I'm just gonna try to keep this up here so you guys can see that I have hair and I'm not bald. So yeah. Anyways, this video is about real world explosion. I realized the real world explosion ended like 500 weeks ago, but I meant to do my video right after it ended, but I procrastinated a little tiny bit. And I'm doing the video now. And even though it's been over for a little while, let's pretend like it just ended. Okay. So I just wanted to talk about the concept as a whole. Like, I'm really upset that the show has ended because I really enjoyed it. And um, I felt like it had just started. So it kind of sucked when it ended. I felt like it ended way too soon. But I like the concept of them bringing the exes into the house. And as we all know, okay, maybe you guys don't know, but a lot of other people do. And I do, of course, that the producers of the Bad Girls Club are the same producers of the real world. So I guess that's kind of like hand in hand. I don't really watch Real World that much though. I've only watched a few full seasons, but um, yeah. So I wanted to talk about this season in particular. Like I said, I like the concept. I like how they brought the exes in. I thought that was very clever. And I think the producers of um, Bad Girls Club and Real World, which are Bunim and Murray, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're really clever. They always put twists to shows and stuff, and I think it's really cool how they do that. But I really enjoyed it. The cast members were really cool, too. Like, I thought they were really down-to-earth. A lot of them are really down-to-earth, actually. From what I've seen, um, the majority of the originals that were already there are very down-to-earth. Like, um, Jenny's very down-to-earth. Everybody loves Jenny. Um... Who else? Ashley is the first Ashley, not the one that Ari was dating. The first Ashley. And I know a lot of people do not like the first Ashley, but I like her. I've talked to her on Twitter before. She follows me. She is really nice from what I see on Twitter. And, I mean, I guess that's not really enough to judge her from and to, you know, base her personality off of. But from what I've seen, she's really nice on Twitter. So, I like her. I mean, yes, yeah, she was kind of crazy in the house, but I've seen worse on the Bad Girls Club. So, I guess I kind of can have, you know, I have a high tolerance for the crazy things that people do on reality television series. So, I like Ashley. So, that's just me. I like Jenny, as I said before. I liked, um, I liked Ari. At first, I thought she was kind of weird, but I really like her. And I think she was one of the coolest people in the house. Corey. Oh, my God, Corey. He is so hot. Like, he is the, he is just sexy. Like, that man is just, mm, 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 mm. I'm just going to leave it at that. That man is just, oh, God, oh, God, oh, goodness. He follows me on Twitter, too, and that was, like, the best day of my life. I was actually driving, and then I had my phone out, and, yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, I got a notification on my phone and it said Corey Wharton just followed you or whatever and I freaked out and I almost ran into the car in front of me. But that's a different story. Let's not go there. Oh, and I forgot to mention Jenny also follows me and she they always like retweet me. They're like really sweet. Like I think they're like down to earth because a lot of people that's like verified or on TV and stuff, they act like they can't communicate with fans of the shows that they're on. It's stupid, but... Yeah, she, she follows me too. I just asked them. I was like, can you guys please follow me? And then they did, and I thought it was cool. But I didn't ask, like, everybody else to follow me, like Brian and Jay. I don't really like Jay. Jay was a man who were in the house. He's, like, cute or whatever, but at first he seemed all innocent, and then I just didn't like him by the end. He's okay, though. But And what happened to his mom was really sad, but, you know, he's... Jenna deserved way better. And everybody else on the cast, like Brian, he's cool too, and... um. Him and Corey, when they were fighting, I was just like, oh my god, two sexy guys fighting, I can't handle this. But, yeah, I liked the cast, and I thought the cast was really well oh, What is the word for this? I thought they were cleverly chosen. Does that make sense? Let's pretend like it does if it doesn't. I thought they were chosen cleverly. 
and I really like this season a lot. I really hope to see the castmates on the challenge. I would love to see Corey on there, of course, maybe Brian, um, Ari, some of the more fit people in the house, I guess. Um, even Jenny. I'd love to see Jenny on there, and Jenny's a thick chick, but I love her. And I want to see, I want to see the whole cast on the challenge. Like, I don't even care, even the people that were kind of lame in the house. I just want to see them again because I really enjoyed this cast. I thought they were really down to earth and I just want to see more of them. I felt like the season ended way too soon. But anyways, that's all I have to say about Real World Explosion. I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know that I'm still here because I know I haven't posted a video in like two weeks. Don't forget to subscribe, comment what you thought about the season, the castmates, etc. And like and share. And that's it. I love you guys. Bye.